just not going to try to say the name of this game. <laughs> you could just read it. It kind of even just runs off the end of the menu here. Uh, but this is going to be our first game on Ouya Underground. And the reason we're playing it is because Terry Kavanagh made it and he supported this console pretty heavily. He released like six or eight games only for Ouya. For those of you that don't know, he's a creator of VVVVVVV and Super Hexagon and a couple of other moderately popular games, but he's also a really bizarre dude. So he made a bunch of strange games for the Ouya, and I thought that this would be an appropriate um, place to start. So that's what we're going to start with. I have not played this one, which is also why I chose it, but it looks to be like a Wolfenstein 3D sort of shooter game, so let's play that. I'm pretty good at those. New game. Alright, well this is really rough around the edges. You can see the seams between each tile. Um, but you can walk. You cannot... I can't seem to strafe, so that's kind of rough. But that's okay, we'll just be fast. Oh god. I'm getting killed! Wow, alright. Um... Pistol ammo? Alright, pistol ammo. Have to be careful, gosh. That first dude took a ton of chunks out of my health. What are we? Are we, like, escaping from a prison? I mean, that's the plot in Wolfenstein. My prick is still hot, stiff, and quivering. What? Okay, we'll try this- we'll try this again. The level seems to be randomly generated, so that's something. Or at least it's different. So I killed a guy, that's cool. Or wait, maybe it isn't different. This is very similar. So there should be a guy right over here. God, I gotta stay away from him. Backstepping is really difficult. This game is, oh my gosh. Is this what it's like to wear glasses? I don't have any real, I have one shot left and I have no gun. Uh, okay. Oh, I can use the D-pad to move. That makes things a lot more accurate. Hey, it's a better weapon. All right, I'll take a machine gun. I only have 10 shots, but we'll see what we can do with this. Maybe we can actually defeat guys before they get to me. Well, you can if you see them from that far away. Here's some machine gun ammo, I hope. Yeah. All right, cool. Hey, there's health. 25, 50. All right, so we're doing pretty good now. All right, oh. How do you change weapons? You don't? All right, you do not change weapons. Okay, that's good to know. Oh God. That could have been way worse, so that's not bad. Let's just do this. Oh God, I don't have any ammo for my other guns. Oh no. All right, that was bizarre. All right, we'll try this again. I'm not gonna read that a second. <laughs> Is this some sort of like, weird reference to the male power fantasy and ejaculating bullets? I have no idea. So you have to be very conservational with your ammo. It makes things very difficult. Here we go. All right. All right, good. We're doing better. Oh God, not better. Not better. Not better. We're now doing... Oh God, we're doing much worse. Okay, so we're gonna die. A horrible, painful death. But we're gonna get a machine gun first. All right. I'm going to be, try to be as conservational as I can here. And I'm going to... Yeah, here we go. Alright, good. There we go. We're doing much better now. Alright. See if we can show you a new part of this maze. You know, I feel really bad. Um, Dirk lent me his super high definition 60 frames a second capture card. And this is the game I played with it. This game you could literally record on notebook paper and it would have probably the same resolution. All right, uh, we're not doing too bad. All right, we're, it seems to be getting the hang of this. It, you gotta be really twitchy. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, okay, we're gonna try one more time. I think like, I just wanna see how far I can get into this maze. I mean, I don't really know what all this game is, but it, it seems to be a game where if you move quickly and decisively, you do a lot better than if you wait. So I just do this and just turn and start shooting. And then, I mean, a, a small portion of this is memorization, but the other part is just dis being decisive in your movements and not forgetting there's a guy right there. 
You can also, like, don't even really have to aim, really, to hit people. You just sort of do your thing. So, let me do this here. Alright. God, I feel kind of bad for you viewers. You just get to watch me, like, swing the camera around like I'm seasick. <laughs> That's kind of bizarre. And uh, doing any of the analog stick inputs the, that result in, like, diagonal motion just does both at once, and it's very disconcerting. So I'm kind of sticking with the D-pad here. Okay, I need to run forward, but then I need to turn around and get this guy that's behind me. Or something. Can you not now? Am I, like, did I go through a door? I am really lost. I was getting hit. I remember that, but then I managed to get through the guy. All right, oh God, oh God. There, all right, well, here's health. I'll take this. Health, all right. Oh, this this background does me, does me in. I don't like how the walls get pinker the closer you get to them. That's really bizarre. What is this? RPG launcher? Okay. I'm gonna kill myself with this thing. I just know it. See, yep, see, hold on. What the hell happened? Talk to this person? My faithful darling, my sit-eyed black-eyed schoolgirl, be my whore. My mistress is as much as you like my little frigging. Mistress, my little fucking whore, what the hell? You're always my beautiful wildflower of the hedges, my dark blue rain-drenched flower. What the heck is going on? Can you just walk around the city? And then you get into a random encounter and you end up back in the dungeon? What the hell is all this? So you kill people to get time in the city? What is, like, what's going on here? Let's go talk to her. Please don't be gross. I had an arse full of farts that night, darling, and I... Oh, I'm not gonna read that. Long, windy ones, quick little merry cracks, and tiny little, oh my god, farties, oh god. This game is horrible. What is all of this? I, I have no idea. All right, we're going back. Instant kill. I've been trying to picture you frigging, you frigging your cunt in the closet. How do you do it? Oh, gosh. Okay, we're done. We're done. I think that is a very solid introduction to how bizarre that Ouya can be. Um, I'm just gonna I talk to her. I guess if we're still here, we might as well keep moving around. Keep insulting women. Um, so what is this? You run around in this maze, shooting people well, that makes, see, that makes the game over message make sense. So what the hell is this game about? Um, so you run around and you shoot things with your gun, your very phallic weapon, and then you teleport to the city where you say horrible, terrible things to women. What the hell is this game about? Um, like, is it some sort of bizarre and backhanded sexual assault simulator or like is it like you have to like get your kicks in the city and so that you can like get off in the first person shooter <sighs> i don't know your guess is as good as mine but that's it for this episode so i'll catch you guys later hey guys i know i said that that was the end of the episode but this game kind of got under my skin so i spent some time researching the title of the game and found out that it's a reference to finnegan's wake a novel by james joyce it was written as sort of a stream of consciousness academics have picked this book apart pretty well but it turns out that it contains themes on the cyclical structure of time and history which could explain our re reoccurrences and going back to the maze over and over again now the part where you walk around town seems to reference what they call the the alleged crime in the park which appears to have been some act of a voyeuristic sexual or scatological nature so i haven't read this book and i don't know any more than that 
but it seems that this is a very obscure James Joyce first-person shooter. I guess what they say about licensed games all being crap is true. Alright, now I'm going to give the game a rating, and I'll see you guys next episode. Five out of five.